Most TVs come with a built-in smart platform, but they're not always good. Luckily, you can override your TV system by plugging in a streaming device. I'll break down the differences between the brands to help you choose the best one for you. The best streaming devices tend to be speedy, have lots of apps to choose from, and a simple interface with killer search functions. I'm adding links in the description if you want to check these out, and chapters are enabled so you can skip around. Here we go. The Roku Express 4K Plus is our pick as our best overall streaming device. Roku is our favorite streaming system because it has everything you'd want in a streaming platform. It's got the widest selection of streaming apps, including the free-to-watch Roku channel, as well as an uncluttered interface and the best search. It's also a content agnostic platform that doesn't push any one media streaming service provider over another. The Express 4K Plus is one of the cheapest streaming devices with 4K HDR, and it also supports AirPlay, making it easy to connect your Apple device to your TV. At $40, it's $10 cheaper than the company's streaming stick 4K, which puts it over the top. But our runner-up is a very close second. The $50 Roku Streaming Stick 4K offers the same functions found on all Roku devices, but additionally comes with Dolby Vision support. In fact, Dolby Vision, along with a stick-like design, is the main difference between it and the Express 4K+. Plus. It's also why the Streaming Stick 4K is more expensive than its sibling. We think the Streaming Stick 4K is a great device, but we're just not sold on the Dolby Vision upgrade, mostly because we generally don't think it provides a major image quality upgrade over standard HDR. If you can get it on sale, the Streaming Stick 4K is a great buy. The third best on our list is the $40 Chromecast with Google TV 4K. We don't think it's quite as good as the Roku Express 4K+, Plus, but it comes closer than any other device on the market. The Chromecast does have Dolby Vision compatibility, but its greatest asset is Google Assistant voice search and integration with other Google services like Google Photos and YouTube TV. The interface is more evolved looking than Roku, but ultimately we prefer Roku's simpler approach, no-nonsense search results, and lower price. That said, the new Chromecast is the best choice for those already living in Google's world. Google also makes a cheaper HD-only version of the Chromecast called the Chromecast with Google TV HD. It's $30 and is far and away the best entry-level streamer you can find, making it our pick as the best HD streaming device. If you're looking for a cheap streamer for your 1080p TV, this is the one to get. It's speedy and offers the same form factor and remote as the 4K Chromecast model, which means that it can seamlessly control your TV's power, volume, and inputs. You won't get that from the remote on the similarly priced Roku Express or Amazon Fire TV Lite. It also comes with a built-in button to access the Google Assistant. Other entry-level HD streaming devices skimp on hardware features in order to sell their players at a lower price, and you won't get anywhere near that level of functionality on the remotes from the Express or Fire TV Lite. Sure, it might ultimately make more sense to just get a 4K streamer, especially if you have a 4K TV, but this is an excellent HD option for those who want something cheap. The Fire TV 4K Max is our pick as the fastest streaming device. It costs $55 and loads apps almost immediately, while navigating around the system is swift and smooth. Even better, the Max supports Wi-Fi 6 and nearly all the latest playback standards, including Dolby Vision. The downside to the Max is the Fire TV platform, which features ads prominently throughout. They make Amazon's devices generally hard to recommend. But this is the best Fire Stick on the market today and is a good choice for those looking for a fast streaming device. The 2022 Apple TV 4K is our best pick for Apple fans, and it's finally gotten a little cheaper. It now starts at $129, $50 less than the previous version. This year's model also has a faster A15 Bionic processor and an updated Siri remote with a USB-C connector instead of a Lightning one. Other than that, the changes from last year's version are so minor that it's hard to see any real difference at all. It continues to be a good choice for those who want an Apple device for Apple Arcade Gaming or to take full advantage of their Apple One subscription. 
Video purists will appreciate its flexible HDR and TV calibration feature. But for most people, it just isn't worth the money, especially when Roku has nearly all the major apps and AirPlay support. Plus, if you really want Dolby Vision, you can get a Roku Streaming Stick 4K at a fraction of the price. Which streaming device are you thinking of getting? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.